it's May, so it's time for my April skin highlights. Basically, Christmas is coming. <laughs> Before we get into my skin highlights, I'd love to let you know who I am, if you don't know. My name is Ijoma, I'm a beauty lover, a skincare influencer, a pro makeup artist, and a woman of a certain age. And I feel like all these things give me the authority to do what I'm doing on my channel. If you're new here, I would love to let you know what my skincare highlights are all about. These are just skincare products that have stood out to me in the month and they're either exceptional or staples or have been thorough disappointments. As usual, everything will be linked down in my description box. It will be full of all the details of where you can get the products and anything else that I may mention during the video. So let's get into it. Let's start with something that oh, was just kind of like a love, a rediscovery, nostalgia. Oh, there was so much joy in this. This is the Red Fox Tabo Butter Cocoa Butter Moisturizing Cream. If you know this, you know this. And if you don't, this is just a very glorified Vaseline. <laughs> the key standout ingredient in this is petroleum, and that's why I say it's glorified Vaseline. It also has cacao seed, butter, lanolin, and yeah, a few other bits, and vitamin E, and a derivative of cinnamon, and that's why it has this sweet, powdery, very old school smell that just ah oh, it just smells like a mom's hug it reminds me of an old woman that's very comfortable and very mumsy and when i say old i mean maybe in her 50s between her 50s and 70s and you know when women step into that age they get this softness in their skin especially melanated women there's just a different way our skin ages it just has this softness i don't know how else to describe it those with melanin in their skin like me will get it there's just that softness i don't know how else to describe it anyway this reminds me so much of that it just reminds me of a woman who's so mumsy, who wants to give you a hug, she she always has something cooking in the pot, she smells sweet, she always has cuddles for you. This is really nice. It is just something about nostalgia for me and also one of my favorite humans uses this. So every time I use this on my body, it makes me just remember her. It feels good on the skin as well. The body is left soft, okay? Soft. A little bit heavy for the summertime but i wouldn't mind i like to you know feel super moisturized on my body but this has brought so much joy to me if you know red fox from back in the day and you haven't had it in your routine or you've never used it you've just smelt it on others get it and see if it brings you as much joy as it brought me because it's been making me really really happy <laughs> totally random but yeah, this was definitely a skin highlight for April. Let's do cleansers. I have two cleansers with me. We'll start off with the Sebamed Liquid Face and Body Wash. I love this. I really love this. I loved it from first use. I'm just about to finish it and I still love it. It was the cleanser I predominantly used in April and it just does the job. It's it's no fuss, no mass, yet there's an elegance to it. It's been really done well. It forms up on the skin beautifully. It's a beautiful second cleanse. It's perfect for sensitive skin, problematic skin. It leaves the skin soft. What more do you want? And the price point of this is absolutely stunning. It has such a pretty green color. Some of the ingredients in this are niacinamide, panthenol, alitonin, glycerin, and it just it, it just does the job. It makes me really happy. I definitely recommend it, and I'll definitely see myself repurchasing it. I do see most skin types loving this. It just works. It's really, really good. It's really, really, really good. The next cleanser is the Kaeso Beauty Mallow and Cucumber Rebalancing Cleanser. This is a cream cleanser and it was love at first use once again. A beautiful, fresh cucumber spa scent. It ticks so many boxes for me when it comes to a cream cleanser. It's soft. It leaves the skin very soft. It is perfect for a first cleanse. 
that is if you're not wearing makeup or sunscreen i don't think it's powerful enough to take off both makeup on sunscreen maybe just sunscreen it depends on your skin type anyway i love this i've been predominantly using this as a morning cleanse and it has made me so happy in the morning just that fresh smell of cucumber really really nice on the skin it also rinses off the skin really well it doesn't leave a film on the skin like most cream cleansers some of the ingredients in this is witch hazel, there's glycerin, some derivatives of coconut oil, there's grapeseed oil, there's aloe vera in this as well. It just, it's just a lovely little thing. It just does the job. And you know what? One thing I realized when I was using this is that when it comes to cream cleansers, I know what I like. I've decided I know what I like. I want experience. I want it to smell beautiful. I want it to leave my skin soft. I want it to rinse away relatively well. I don't mind leaving a slight film on the skin. I get it, it's a cream cleanser, but this just made me really happy. This comes from the rebalancing line from Kaeso, which supports oily and combination skin. And I do think oilier skins will like this. I know oilier skins don't tend to like cream cleansers, but I think as an oilier skin person, if you use this in the morning, you might really enjoy this. Or even use it as a first cleanse. It depends how much makeup you wear. I really like this and I definitely recommend it. I just realized I didn't have any lipstick on. It's okay, we're going to carry on. <laughs> let's do toners. Yes, let's do toners. I have two toners here. One is a staple and a favorite. This is the Aromatica Vitalizing Rosemary Deconcussion Toner such a long name but a fabulous product the only qualm i have about this product is the price it is a touch pricey for a toner you can get it between 25 and 35 pounds it depends on the sale that you get at the time but i love this this is perfect for my combination skin now i do get oily in my t-zone and i can get a bit congested in my t-zone as well so sometimes I do need a toner that picks up the oils from my skin and just helps my pores behave and I feel this really does the job. This is my third bottle and it's been making me happy all throughout the month of April. Now some of the ingredients in this are rosemary water and rosemary oil which give it the astringent effect I'm talking about. Rosemary also has microbial properties and it's stimulating to the skin. This also has some glycerin helping the skin stay hydrated. There's also chamomile extracts, there's also aloe extracts and there's also a bit of rosewood oil rosewood oil behaves somewhat similar to rosemary oil it also is an astringent i recommend this toner for almost every skin type maybe sensitive skin types may want to stay away from this because this has um rosemary oil and rosewood oil and i do know some essential oils can be a bit irritating to sensitive skin types but i love this mostly oily skin combination skin will absolutely love this if you do know that rosemary is an ingredient that your skin responds to well you will also absolutely love this a few layers of this on my skin and i just feel like my pores will behave a little bit better the next day you know there's just something that this toner does it's been done extremely well i absolutely love the packaging there is so much from this brand that I want to try. I just don't like the price point. <laughs> but I will try a little bit more from Aromatica. Well done. Beautiful toner. I, I will keep saying this. Idra is the tonerholic. If you hear me talk about a toner and say that it's good, it's good. Next up is the Rovectin. Yes, the Rovectin Clean Lotus Water Calming Toner. This is a very hydrating toner. Very, very hydrating. Now, the star ingredients in this toner are lotus water and lots of derivatives of hyaluronic acid. Now, lotus water has been found to be anti-inflammatory. It supports the skin's aging process and it's full of antioxidants. Now, we all know about hyaluronic acid. This toner has about five derivatives of hyaluronic acid, so it's very hydrating. It really packs a punch. 
I find it to be very elegant, very light on the skin. The formula is rather lovely. A few layers of this and you feel like your skin has taken a nice drink of water. I don't know about the inflammatory claims because I did start using this when I had a little bit of a breakout sometime in April and I don't feel like it soothed my breakouts but it definitely kept my skin hydrated. I really liked how it just felt you know it felt like it was taking a drink of water i really appreciate this toner i really really do i definitely recommend it for all skin types if you're a tonerholic like me if you love hydrating skincare this is definitely one to check out next up is everything boomy as i said in april my skin tried to be disrespectful <laughs> I had a little breakout that I didn't even understand what was going on anyway. So I pulled out all my staples, products that I trust, products that I know support my skin when it needs some healing, some soothing. So definitely in April, everything boomy made me really happy, just made me feel comforted made me feel like i was doing good for my skin i absolutely love boomy we'll start with the face mask now the face mask has hemp powder it has maca it has green clay it has some aloe some green tea lots of antioxidants the clay is very gentle on the skin it just has this gentle way of cleansing the skin and I love that it's full of antioxidants and my skin responds very well to antioxidants. So I just, I love this mask. I, when I use it, I just know the skin is happy. It's a kind of mask that I can put on on my face and forget about it for hours. Yes, I am that girl. I will put on a mask and leave it on for two hours. I absolutely love this mask. I've gone through several tubs and I will keep repurchasing it as long as Boomi makes it. Fantastic fantastic mask absolutely love this can i just mention i also love how gentle yet effective it is because i do get to use it in the morning yes i am that girl i do mask in the morning love 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 next up is the night repair balm from boomi <sighs> one of the most elegant how many times have i said elegant in this in this video quite a few times <laughs> anyway i've had some good skincare in april i've had some good skincare back to the night repair it is a elegant delightful light balm and you know when we hear balm we think heavy no this it just melts and glides into the skin and i don't know how she's done it because this has sheer butter in it but once this hits the skin it starts to melt it has some beautiful ingredients, the shea butter that I had mentioned, there's hemp oil in this, there's cucumber seed oil, there's broccoli seed oil, there's some rose hip, there's vitamin E, there's evening primrose. So it's a balm that's healing, that's soothing, it's full of antioxidants. I absolutely love that she went a different route and put some cucumber seed oil in this, some broccoli seed oil. Oils that we're not used to seeing in the skincare realm it's a beautiful balm once again i have gone through several tubs of this i will continue to buy it for as long as she makes it one of the most stunning balms i have met in my skincare life i love this when i have it on my skin my skin just says yes thank you for loving on me thank you next up is the face polish as the name insinuates it is truly a polish i have not been using chemical exfoliants for a while i'm taking a break but the skin still needs a little bit of exfoliation so i've been leaning on this a little bit more than usual and i absolutely love this product i've loved it from first use just the way it leaves the skin polished yet extremely soft is absolutely stunning what I love about this exfoliant is that it's all in a bed of oil. So as you're exfoliating the skin, the skin is being nourished. The exfoliants in this are bamboo stem powder and volcanic ash powder. And it's all suspended in a blend of shea butter and hemp oil. There's also a bit of juniper essential oil in this, but not too much. Giving it a nice piney scent. So there is a bit of experience as well with this. This is absolutely stunning. But out of all the Boomi products I have mentioned, this is the one product that I definitely don't recommend for everybody. You have to know yourself. You have to know your skin. 
if you overuse this or you too rough with this you will damage your skin this is not for the reckless this is for the people who know how to create an exfoliation schedule and to be gentle with their skin while they're exfoliating i'm one of those people <laughs> i absolutely love this product truly the face polish the way it leaves the skin clean and polished chef's kiss last and certainly not least this is the nankin skincare active dew face cream for normal to dry skin oh the texture of this the texture is so plush very elegant skincare right here very elegant this is a very simple yet potent face cream just the the pillowiness it leaves the skin is just mwah. now i know the face cream says normal to dry skin and it is chock full of oils but this does not feel heavy on the skin at all in fact it just feels like enough you know it's also the kind of moisturizer you don't need to add any oils to and you might not even need to finish your routine with a balm it's so impactful so rich so moisturizing it really does the job i've been absolutely loving this some of the ingredients in this are glycerin grapeseed oil shea butter there's jojoba there's baobab oil there's vitamin e there is pomegranate extract there's some aloe there's some rosemary extracts as well so as you can tell she's definitely created for normal to dry skin but as i said i am combination skin and i've been really enjoying this i've not found it to be heavy it hasn't clogged my skin this is my second jar of it and it just stood out to me in the month of april i feel like it really did the thing i'm really really enjoying this really really nice i see myself getting the third a third tub of this really good definitely recommend older skin will like this if you do like a rich cream you will like this if you're oilier skin and you don't like rich creams like you're you're too scared to try them then this one is definitely one to avoid but if you have oilier skin and you do like a rich cream and you have figured out how to put oil in your routine without irritating your skin I think you'll really like this i really like this it's a beautiful cream so well done so so well done and that's that those are my april skincare highlights that's the skincare i have been loving as i had mentioned in the description box you will find all the details of all the products i have mentioned i've also done a full review of boomy skincare products I will link that video down below in the description box. I hope you find some value in this video so that you can do a little bit of happy shopping. Thank you so much for being here with me. My name is Ijema and I'll see you soon.